Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in again. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So all of us with lumps, bumps and everything else going on as well. So today's video is, I think it's number six, seven in the Body Shape Masterclass series. So this is where I'm going to be dressing live on camera. A lovely lady, she is a UK size 14. She's got big boobies and she's got an apple shaped tummy and really, really slender legs. So I'm going to be showing you how I would dress her, particularly for this lighter spring summer weather that we are experiencing right now, or well, certainly in England we're experiencing right now. So as always, everything that I show you today will be linked. However, the UK links will be under where the video plays, but because I always run out of space, the American links will be in the very first comment box that you see, and I will pin that comment so it always stays at the top. So that will include, for example, what I'm wearing right now, which is a little top from River Island, but this also comes with a matching skirt as well. I will put a little insert in there as well to show you. And I've just got it on with some mother jeans, and these are the Tomcat. Jewelry-wise today, I've got Monica Vinader on again. I think I said it right that time. Thank you for all your help in trying to help me pronounce it. I have got on their lovely beaded collection that is out now. I think it's like gemstone beaded collection. It's beautiful. Um, and then their big pendant. And as always, I have got my signature bracelet on and my bangle with pearl charm on it and then just a little um, square charm as well that I kind of sometimes put on there and sometimes I put on here. Um, or oh, this time I can actually show you my stacking rings as well. Let me see. So I think last video I tried to show these but I hadn't had my nails done so I was hiding them. Um, but these are proving to be a real hit with myself and my clients. You can just spread them across your fingers and then you don't need to wear your bracelets that looks really nice but yeah it's just beautiful beautiful jewelry and I find an outfit just isn't complete without these additional items. Do you have a discount code for you? It will be under the video or in the comments box depending on whether you're looking for your American links or the UK link. So I have a new really inexpensive little tool little styling hack to show you you. I think it was $3.99 from Amazon. I will link it below and oh my goodness this is changing my life or rather it's changing my husband's life because I'm no longer having to ask him to help me with my bracelet. So how it works is you just grab it by the one end like that and then you hold this in your hand that will then hold it in place and I've got my other hand completely free to attach it. Absolute genius, worth the $3.99 a hundred times over. Hi everyone, this is Denise. Be kind in the comments box because this is a very brave move so thank you very much for doing it for all of those ladies out here. Um, but as you can see, Denise is how tall are you? five foot eight so she has got the advantage of being tall but she's got really good boobs what size are we talking 34 double f 34 double f now i think they're brilliant because obviously i've got no boobs but you find they're them a little bit really conscious really really conscious don't you and, and quite troublesome in getting changed and then what she's got going on under here if we can just pull that top do you mind just going to the side a little bit okay and back around to the front again so denise is very apple shaped sort of there okay so what we mean by that is that she lacks any definition around this torso area and an apple shape is usually quite thick around that area as well and it can often go around to the back area although you don't have any going yeah. around the back yeah. your thickness sort of starts there yeah. and goes under your under your bust yeah. area um, but as you can see with Denise you don't have to be a big lady to have an apple shape and I think it's something you you put your arm sorry <laughs> Um, you don't have to be a big lady to have an apple shape. There's a real misunderstanding that you need to have body fat 
to have an apple shape. You don't, it's just how your body is structured. So it's just that thickness. It doesn't matter whether that thickness comes out in a, you're a UK 14? Yeah. yeah, so very standard size, UK 14, or whether you're a UK 22, or even whether you're a UK eight, you can still have the apple shape. It's just the thickness around here. And that's different from having just a little bit of a, a punch there, you know, like a menopausal uh, extra bit of weight. Okay, so here we're talking about the thickness. And then beautiful, beautiful skinny legs, as you can see, and really long and tall. However, what I probably am going to show you is that, don't get me wrong, your skinny legs are gorgeous, but what we don't want to do is show too much of the skinny leg. Because when we show it, we're going to look very thin down below and then very block-like all here. So in all of these Body Shape Masterclasses, in all the styling that I do, I tell you it's all about balance. So what we're trying to do is recreate this hourglass shape. We can't do anything about the thickness of her tummy as such. We can disguise it, but I can't, I'm not a, what did you say earlier on, magician and... Uh, yeah, you're a magician. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> technician, not a magician. So I felt that was a really good way of saying it. So yes, I can disguise it, but I can't do anything about it. But what I can do something about is balancing this area out. I can balance this area. So if I broaden up here, her bust is going to look smaller. And if I broaden around this area, her waist is going to going to look smaller. What I do find a lot of people do is if their troubled area is their tummy, they're always just focused on how to disguise their tummy. But actually you need to flip that round and you need to think, I can't do much about my tummy, my tummy's there, but I can broaden this and I can broaden that. Or in my case, I'm paired, so I'm heavier here. I can't do anything about the width of my thighs but I can do something about the width of my shoulders. So flip it on its head and think, what part of your body can you do something about, rather than what part of your body can't you do something about? Hope that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. It does. Okay, all right. I think she's probably just being polite. <laughs> I'll have to play it back to see if it makes sense or not. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is measure her, and I will put her measurements up on the screen in a moment. And then we're going to get her out of this outfit and straight into the first one. We've got a lot of outfits to show today, so I'm going to go through them really, really quickly. Okay, so we've got our first outfit try and talk you through what I've done and why. So starting with the top here. Now I wanted to show you something here that a lot of people with a big bust will avoid a big pattern or anything that draws the attention upwards. But Denise has got such a beautiful face. I've just found out you do makeup tattoo, yeah. per permanent yeah. makeup tattooing, which is amazing. That's why she looks so, so fabulous. So I didn't want to just put the attention downwards because she's got this beautiful face. So I'm spinning things around a little bit. So I'm putting the bright color here, this tie here on the shirt. So when I first got this out a couple of seconds ago, she was like, no way, because it's cropped. But what the cropness here is actually helping to create more of a waist. The tie is covering up her thickness around her waist. And what I've done is I've put a top underneath it. Watch what happens. If I can just, you just go like that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Um, if you just put your arms down in a second. If I take that top up like that, what I see then is sort of the, the thickness here starts there and ends there. So what I mean by that is she looks very straight up and down here. When I use a little white top like this and the different layers, so that shorter layer on top, I pull it down, it's almost like her waist now is starting up here and this is where it's ending. So it's separating this straight up and straight down part and giving a lot more of this hourglass shape going on. And then these jeans here, obviously in the lighter colour it's showcasing her legs, but fantastic kick out flare there that's now balancing out all of this. 
you've then got the colour, the collar, the v-neck, it's all helping to separate along the bust line and not forgetting the necklace here that is also just helping to separate the chest area as well because if we, do you mind us stripping you back a second? So if we strip her back, so even just taking the necklace off there, if we open this up, so that's the base layer of what we're working with and I, I don't think you mind me saying you feel very uncomfortable like that. That's not the shape that she wants to represent. So we have added some bulk on top but we've also made sure that we added this tightness around there so that we've got the different layers going on so it's different interest because when you go tight on top and tight on the bottom as well you're just going to exaggerate your um, straight up and straight down parts. Okay. So next we've got this really, really great jumpsuit. I think it's looking absolutely perfect on her. We were just saying for like a day out with your daughter, anything really, really is it? Yeah, just really easy, apart from when you go to the loo. <laughs> And we'll be sitting there with your boobies out when you go to the loo. It's the only disadvantage, but um, why is it working? Obviously the tie around the waist, she can hire that up so it would come in more above her, her bust line. But we've got volume around here. So it's balancing out that top half. If this was really sort of tight and skinny like that, she'd look more squarish on top. So here's the volume, it's showing the ankles, it's going lovely with the trainers and the little bag. Notice that we're still using a necklace, but when we pull that off, even though she's got buttons, which does go somewhere to split in that area up, the colour being a dark navy um, can be quite overpowering on people. So if you just put a bit of a necklace down there, it just helps to lighten and freshen that area up. We've also got another jumpsuit, so I'm going to insert that at the side, but that works for all the same reasons as well. Okay, so next we have this beautiful white dress from Bowdoin. It's available internationally, by the way. We've got a bag from Marks and Spencers and some shoes from Marks and Spencers and the little necklace going on. Now, I love this. It's got pockets. You know how I love pockets. So pockets just give that really sort of relaxed look to it, don't they? So I love it just like that. But Denise was saying that she feels quite big in it still, mm, don't yeah. you? For anybody who really just wants that casual, lovely summer's dress, really, really cool, then this is brilliant. So if we put a belt on, now I would usually put it right under the bust line if you've got a very big apple, uh, uh, apple tummy, but Denise's apple tummy isn't too big at all. So she's probably got a choice of levels of where to put it. And I do often leave this bit to a client because a client can often feel where their natural line is. So how are you feeling now? It feels a little bit high. Okay, so you want to pull it down a bit. You, you pull, pull down, pull to your area that you like. So trust yourself, you will know where that line is, where it feels most comfortable. Let me have a look. So she's found her natural waistline. Now, I can say, oh, I think it looks better pulled up, but if that's where you feel that it's comfortable, then that's where you wear it. But that looks equally as beautiful. So whether you let it hang loose or tie a belt, then that dress works really, really well for anybody who's trying to disguise that um, tummy area. Where it doesn't work well, I'm gonna take the bag off you. You just stand in front of me for a second. Okay, I need to do this carefully so that I um, don't flash her. If we go shorter like that, I'm sorry, the demonstration isn't that great. <laughs> but what I want to show is, we often think because we've got really slender legs that that's what we need to show. And that's probably what you read in every styling magazine. Show the legs, highlight the bits that you do like. However, when we highlight those legs too much, it's actually going to make her look bigger on top especially so if we didn't have the belt on. So let's just strip her down. Okay, can you see that? The legs are now sticking out and they are super slender and all of this is going to look a lot bigger. So you need the length in a dress because it's the length that's giving us this volume around there. And her legs, if you just take a step back for me a second just so they can see all the way to your feet. 
So it's the length here that's giving us the volume that we need to balance out her bust and balance out her tummy and shoulder area. So don't go too short on your, on your dress length is the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so next we've got on a really, really simple dress. It's very much, if anybody saw my how to hide a big stomach video that I did in the past, I'll put a link up to that now. I showed a whistles dress that everybody went for straight away and it sold out without, within minutes. This is very similar to that, but it's just from Marks and Spencer's. As you can see, it just hangs, it's really easy. In an ideal world, I'd like to see it a little bit shorter I think maybe just like that just to show a little bit more of the leg but Denise likes it with a belt around which you're actually quite unusual because most apple shaped ladies don't like belts around here so that's why I wanted to show it you how it just hangs normally as, as opposed to how it hangs with the belt but let's put the belt on and show you that so there it is with the belt. So if you position your belt in under your bust, if that's your smallest part, but if it's not your smallest part, just keep lowering it until it is. And it's then a very, very different look. And we've pa paired it with a little bit of a heel, but you could easily just put that for a summer's day with a flip-flop, a Haviana or anything like that. Again, the necklace. Take away the necklace and she's going to look very busty here add the necklace and it all helps to reshape the dress. Got this really nice, we were just saying perfect for the airport, travelling type of outfit uh, from Mango, obviously a co-ord set but there's no reason why you couldn't just wear the trousers with a white top. It's got this knot detail on that we're really liking. If I can just take the bag off you for a moment just so I can show the audience and we've pulled down this top again because again when we just left that up like that it was just sort of a blue mass and it didn't give her any waistline so it's a very simple technique just pull it down just by about an inch or so not much and it just separates the outfit up and just looks really really nice and really casual so i'll put the links in as usual Okay, so now we've got a traditional smock top with the peplum. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because a lot of you say to me, my tummy is lower, uh, my tummy is bigger than the model that you showed. So I just wanted to show you that a top like this comes down right to her, the bottom of, of her private area and it completely covers that. So if you are that person that's got the lower tummy, then this type of top does really, really well. What you do have to make sure is that the sleeves aren't coming in line with your bust if your bust is particularly big. If your bust is small, however, and you want to balance this out, then you want to put the sleeves there. Did that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, oh. Sorry about that, that's just Monty knocking the lights and everything, obviously got an itch. So on Denise here, we want the sleeves to be lower than her bust, so we're leaving them at that three quarter length. I just wanted to show you here, we've got another kick flare jean on, but we've got a cropped version on. Now if I was to pull that jean back, like, I don't know how effective that is, but like that. What we're then going to see is that her legs are going to look really skinny and she's going to look really block-like on top. So you do, if you're adding the volume around here like this, you need to add the volume down here as well. And showing the ankle is just always really nice and feminine. Okay, so this is the type of linen top I find a lot of people are wearing in order to try and cover their tummy up. But for me personally, I think Denise looks a lot broader. It is helped slightly because we've got this kick out flare, but what I usually see is somebody in a tight legging like that. Monty, I'm trying to show everybody, get out the way. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> get out the way. Come on, up here. Sorry about that. Most of the time I see somebody in a tight jean and a big baggy top like that and she just lost all her shape completely. So at the very minimum what we could do is give her a little bit of a tuck to give her a little bit more shape but generally speaking that is just way too broad for her. 
against her skinny legs. So you've just always got to think about how you're balancing your entire frame out. So it's a no from me, but you still look gorgeous. So we have now stuck with the smocking, which I think is actually looking really beautiful on her. But we've just got the little thin straps here. And then this is like it's like a cheesecloth yeah, really sort of right. fabric, but it's super, super light. Brilliant for going over a swimming costume. Mm, but it's, it's cool. yeah, really cool. But it's not so see-through that you couldn't wear it in the daytime. Perfect length. Just again put it with the same brown shoe. Lovely little brown handbag as well from Marks and Spencer's. That was £25. We've used the necklace again to separate it. So if I just pull that away that kind of looks a little bit sort of too much of an expanse area so we pop that down and that just helps to break it up. I'm thinking the fact that we're showing some of her skin is actually helping the eye line sort of draw into these beautiful areas and I don't know about you audience or you but I haven't thought about your tummy once. Perfect so really really good option there as well. Now what I've just done really quickly is swapped the bags and the reason for that is I want to create the volume around here and I want to create some distraction and when she had the little bag on um, I was still sort of looking at this sort of straight area here where the bigger bag is helping to balance everything else out. So, so my advice would be if you are a little bit straighter in the skirt rather than a line, then go for a bigger bag. But if you've got lots of volume around here that you've created, you can go for a smaller bag. Twinning again. Oh, we're also being joined by Monty as well. Sorry about that. Okay, so hopefully he's not too much in the way. White jumpsuits, both from Zara. As you can see, I have dressed mine with a different belt. This is the belt that actually comes on the jumpsuit. This belt is also from, oh, sorry, hello. Sorry, it's rather distracting. Um, so this belt is also from Zara, but this is the belt that actually comes on the jumpsuit. I've popped mine on with a little bit of a heel, but as you can see, I wanted to show that the same jumpsuit works really, really well on Denise, but in a lot more of a casual manner. So matching the brown here just with the belt and obviously the pair of shoes. But the reason it's working on Denise's frame is because obviously the deep v-neck that is helping to half the bust area we've got strong shoulders and we haven't mentioned that so far but in everything that we've put on we've wanted to try and build a little bit of strength here because if you go broader here it makes the bust look smaller so you're very comfortable putting a belt on your waistband aren't you where i know a lot of people aren't so you can sort of move it about you know go straight under the bust for example if you wanted to now the only disadvantage we're seeing in this jumpsuit is, can you see, I don't know if you can see it so far away, but there's like a lining, let me come closer, there's a lining on here that on me comes to sort of under my bust line, but on Denise it's kind of cutting her bust line, so it's not a major thing, but it's something that might bother some people. But the white trousers here, balancing out the top, perfect combination for a nice summer event or just summer day. Yeah, we like it. So we are twinning. Who'd have thought that you would have got somebody with no boobs in the same dress as somebody with an absolutely cracking pair of boobs? Um, probably to be honest, not to me. So I'm surprised, but I just think she looks beautiful in this. And I think the reason it's working is because obviously it's showing off her beautiful bus line, but it's almost halving her bus line because of the shape. If this dress sort of started up here like that, then her bust will start from there and come all the way down. So it makes it look bigger. It's a bit like if you put a polo neck jumper on, I bet you you feel a lot bustier, don't you? So the more skin we're showing here, the, the smaller her bust is going to look. It's obviously pulling her in at the waist, right under the bust line, and we've got the beautiful width over here that is just skimming over her tummy, and it's adding the volume where we need it to. Um, it's gorgeous at the back. 
Obviously, if you have got a little bit, little bit of back fat, then maybe the cutout there won't be for you. Um, it's got pockets. We love pockets, don't we? Okay, really quick change. All she's done is put this lovely blazer on from Zara, some heel shoes. We've given her a sort of a nicer, delicate um, handbag for a lovely wedding, a christening, just a really nice summer event. Lovely. Okay, so next outfit super super casual we've just got on these green cropped trousers they're from zara i purposely went for something that's got pockets in to add some volume around here super comfy elasticated waist just a plain t-shirt but the t-shirt is like a lovely sort of modal nice, soft yeah. fabric isn't it and then this beautiful cardigan which is actually a really thin linen cardigan it's from phase eight but what this is doing is helping to add further volume around here. And then we've got a bag here, which we're just matching in from Arquette and some Espadrille trainers down below. So generally speaking, I think that looks amazing. But what I keep having to stop Denise from doing is this. Because when she does that, look how it exaggerates the bust. Can you see that? So if we, so like that like that and i see it all the time with ladies trying to do that it is going to make you look broader on top okay i swapped the cardigan which was that lovely linen cardigan for a really nice long trench coat and again the trench coat is just adding the volume around this area if i was to have gone for a short denim coat for example like that can you see now how you can see this area that she's trying to avoid? You can see the straightness or the thickness that an apple shape brings. That's why we want the volume hanging down like that. So next we have these wide leg trousers from Zara. They're kind of like in a silky, really lovely fabric, aren't they? Um, really cool and light for a summer's day and we've just paired them with the Espadrille trainers. And I've got quite tight on top and that's because I do want to follow her curves down. So what I don't want to do is go wide on the bottom and wide on the top. So we can afford to follow her shape down but still broaden this area and that's what I'm hoping to achieve with this look here. Um, I think it looks lovely around her bust line but Denise isn't one for frills. So she said this just, just doesn't feel like her and that's what I have to do as a stylist is not just about what fits your shape and what puts you into this perfect hourglass shape, it's what my client likes or dislikes. So it might be that some of you write in the comments, oh, I didn't like that top on her or I didn't like that pair of trousers, but my client likes that top or likes that pair of trousers or doesn't. So that's the way in which I have to respond. It's not just always about what you think looks good or not, it's what they want to wear as well. So we're gonna change the top and see if she's happier in that. So Denise is a lot more comfortable in this, aren't you? Which is just a really thin linen vest top from Mango. I really like that sort of look because it's a lot more casual. I think it looks just as nice. So it depends whether you want to follow your shape down or not. And finally, we've got this lovely dress from Zara. Great shape on her. I didn't think this would work because if, for example, it didn't have the halt neck here, and if it just sort of went up like that, then it, was go it would have made her boobs look really, really big. But the fact that it's sort of exposing this part of her arm here is actually cutting into her bust line and making her bust line look smaller. It would just sense just such an easy throw on dress, isn't it? You've got the extra volume obviously around here. So you've got the tears starting from the point that we want to have it from that adds the volume. So again, a beautiful dress. I did want to show you though as well, if we went shorter on this dress. So that sort of level would be really nice. It would work just as well. But the shorter we go, the more blocked we're going to make her look. So she's got beautiful legs, but you almost don't want to show too much of them off because the contrast between the slimness of the legs and the torso is such that it's going to make her generally look big all the way over. So, so that's it for today's video. 
thank you for watching thank you to denise for being such a great sport thank you to you monty for getting in the way every five minutes if you could press that subscribe button i would be very grateful and i look forward to seeing you again next week thank you bye